Believe me or not, but even after 8 years of using Live, I still discover new things, ways to speed up the workflow or free Max for Life devices that are literally changing the game. But stay with me, this video won't be about the things you know, like linking channels, saving whole effect chains as presets, using secret drum racks, send and return methods… Wait… Did you knew about it? Let's start with speeding up things while editing both MIDI and audio in arrangement view. If you're stuck on a song, you can try changing the pitch of it. Chances are it will sound better or hit you with instant inspiration. It's not that big of a deal to move a couple of MIDI notes or change the pitch of audio track if you work in with a simple loop. But as we speak about whole huge session, Good luck with editing one by one, but there is a way to make it quicker. First, you need to make a selection of MIDI tracks you want to change the pitch of. Then press Shift and Tab to open MIDI preview window. Now all you get to do is to press Command and A to highlight all the MIDI notes and use arrows to move them up and down. It works nearly the same for audio clips. As you can see, I don't have that many of them here, but... I'll just make a selection, then press once again shift and tap, and now I can change the pitch with this pitch now. I would love to show you at least two more tips on editing MIDI, but since they are exclusive for Life 12 and upgrade prices turn some of us into love rats for free lifetime upgradable dolls, let's just leave them for later and talk about something completely free. Let's say I want to add a lush stutter effect for those chords. Let's use a Pregiator device for that and change the style to chord trigger. This style basically allows you to save the notes of chords instead of making an arc from them. Now let's change Change rate to free. And as you can see, it creates a really fun and organic movement, but it's really easy to get too much. That's where converter device comes into play. As I want to start this adjustment with synced value, let's just try, for example, 132. And as you can see, it already converted it to 46 milliseconds. So let's add this value here by making automation, editing the value and typing 46.9. Great. Let's choose a longer note value. Go back to making the automations and typing 188. And then move to even longer note values. Another cool use case is setting precise decay values for reverb tails. It's a good practice to control reverb and don't let it wash out the whole mix, unless you're making 3 hour long open your chakra yoga mom ambient. Link to the converter device is down in the description. Right below the subscribe button, I don't know what it does, but whenever I like some other producers videos, I always click it. Now back to MIDI editing as I promised. Many of you got quite intrigued about the magic trick I showed you in one of my previous videos. It's exclusive for Live 12 and despite that FO Studio users will say We had it since 1921. We don't. So that's an improvement. Let's say I want a quarter note chop and all I got to do is to press Command and E. This trick is locked to grid you're currently on, so if you want to change it quicker, just press Command 1 to make it smaller, Command 2 to make it bigger, so it's once again quarter note and half note here, or if you want to work with triplets, just press Command and 3. Move back to let's say 1 8th and then press Command and E once again. Another two shortcuts with letter E you need to know immediately after you spend your rent money on Live 12 upgrades. So let's just say I want to work with this top note. Now press and hold E to activate the slice tool. Just make a slice there and slice there and slice there. But if you want to snap it to grid, while pressing E, just add command to it. There's also one nifty feature with editing more than one MIDI track. As you can see, I can edit both clips at once, move notes here and there, but once they will overlap and, for example, I will want to add one more pink note here, you can do that. But not anymore. There is a focus button in Live 12. Once I press it, 
and then select the MIDI clip I want to work with. I can basically add as many notes as I like, even if they overlap with the chords I also have activated. You know what? I feel a little bit bad about not revealing the secret drum rack send and return methods yet. It's a cool way to have full control over your drums without crazy routing, or if you're looking for free machine workflow replacement, this one is for you. By the way, speaking of replacements, uh, have you seen my video about stock Ableton devices that will replace your plugins? 